Hey, hello and welcome back. This is the first video in a new series covering Dragonfly. We looked at Ladybug, we looked at Honeybee, Honeybee Crate, Honeybee uh, Radiance and Honeybee Energy. Now I thought it would be good to cover all three Ladybug tools so we are later able to cross-pollinate our knowledge and use all three simultaneously. Ladybug tools, the Ladybug, Ladybug is very useful in the early design stages covering analysis like for example daylight studies, uh, sun hour studies, thermal auto comfort and so on. Whereas Honeybee is more focused on buildings, construction, materials, but also outdoor comfort and indoor comfort. Dragonfly is the, the last puzzle piece which covers a analysis on a much larger scale, let's say a district or a bigger master plan. And yeah, I'm very excited to start this series. It's gonna be a bit shorter because it has less components as uh, Honeybee, but nevertheless, we're gonna jump right in. And this first video, we just make sure that we have everything installed. On that note, uh, installation, I will not cover the installation of the Ladybug tools. All right, so in this video, we just will cover uh, what we need in order to run uh, Dragonfly. If you if we go into um, Rhino and Grasshopper, we will see here, okay, we have our beloved Ladybug, we have Honeybee, we have Honeybee Radiance, and we have Honeybee Energy, and then we have Dragonfly. In order to work with it, we could, in theory, just start here, and uh, it doesn't need any additional uh, software but as soon as we get to the energy calculations or analysis then we we will need an additional software which is the urban opt geojson uh, urban opt cli whatever that is that tool and we'll see in a minute where and how and, and so on so i can just uh, open this here let's make it make this easier if i click here uh, double click in the center then I get to this to get to the code what's actually inside that script it's actually not a lot uh, but and I can copy here the uh, the link to the installation close that I'll close everything and go here uh, I'm already actually on that page because I was doing it before well I would just show it from the start so we go to Docs urban op net uh, installation installation there of course you can then read what is what that actually is and so on and here's the installation windows installation in my case and then it says here blah 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 install with urban opt installer that's what I want to do and there's a video which doesn't work it seems like or at least not on my side and then it says this download desired version in my case I think it need to be the zero 070 or 071 because I haven't yet uh, changed to the new Ladybug tools which is uh, 1.5. I will do that at some point but at the moment I don't want to change. I have a very good oiled machine running and I don't, don't want to change everything and reinstall everything at the moment. But I will definitely after this series I will uh, jump into the next Ladybug tools um, version whatever is then the current version or the, the, the version at the moment maybe then we're already in 1.6 in any case uh, I download I download this here the 071 click here um, and then it, it tells me okay win Darwin Linux or Windows and then Windows I already downloaded it so I don't need to do that again just go into my download folder and this is the op this is the version I need to use I just run it as an administrator and yeah just next 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 it's already installed. In my case, it's already installed because I did it before, but yeah, I just click next, 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 next until it's installed. And then here you can also see what it is. Urban Opt CLI 071 is a CLI software tool to support whole building energy modeling using Energy Plus and advanced daylight analysis using Radiance Setup. It's another software package also using Radiance and Energy Plus. And they are gonna be separate uh, installed on that in that folder. Um, we need to do one thing more. We need to um, go back and we need to set up the environment. And you have here three options, PowerShell, Windows Common Prompt and the Git Bash. I will try Git Bash. I can just copy that here and paste. And I just need to change the, the name. This is 0 0.71. Hopefully that worked and now I need to run this. I can also copy that. Mm. 
Now it says here every time you want to um, it says here each time you want to work on urban opt and you open a new terminal to do so you will need to run the, the environment OU script to, conf to configure your terminal session environment so you we always need to do this again it's a bit annoying that that's why let's um, uh, copy that make a note here and save in in here so I have that always available because I for sure will not be able to remember this so in theory now it should work actually let's let's see if everything works and then we're ready for the next video so I'm starting Rhino again um, launch grasshopper okay we're gonna look at um, in the sample files of the ladybug tools 4.1 there is there are also some samples for dragonfly and I'm using the open DSS example because there I can test if my installation is correct it takes a while I, I don't really care what it does because I want to actually just check if if my installation works and I can just do it by testing if these components work I'm gonna run this here that works okay this also work seems to, to work it's calculating it's, cal it's calculating yeah there's something happening so that worked it, it seems like we have the correct version installed let's see what it does here anything we'll go for that for all these of course then and look what, what that actually is but for now for today I just want to check if we have installed everything correctly and then we can in the next video we can jump in and uh, and let's and start with dragonfly create let's let this finish okay this is running through the whole period okay so that also worked great now I don't know I don't have I have no clue what came out here program everything there yeah we will look at all these interesting charts here I have no idea what it is but at least the installation works so if if you run into an issue where it says here um, when this turns red then you just need to check the um, the error message and it will tell you probably which version you need to use for example if you have already already installed um, the ladybug tools 1.5 then it could I could imagine that you need to have the latest version installed just to make sure that that you are all set all right i think that's it for this first video and in the next video we jump into dragonfly create